You will submit to us directly. Oh. 13,000 equipment. Well, where is it then? Oh, man. That was... Ooh, yeah. That felt good. Not gonna lie, that felt good. <laughs> And that also means, most importantly, I have my steel supplies. I'm still having to import, though. Maybe because it was damaged? No, it's because I'm on free trade. That's why. That's fine. I like free trade. Okay, so out of the victorious army, you guys are glorious, by the way, we need to bring these guys back to your forces, so... Three of you can go there, and then two of you to that one, and I think I'm going to add half of you to you. You are now responsible for all of these areas too. I'm just going to make sure I'm not missing any little ports, which I almost did at the top because one of the ports is just not selected. Here, this is actually a separate tile. Which is really annoying. Yeah, we're good. And you're telling me you need 11 divisions. I'm giving you 21. That's probably actually too many. Fifteen will be enough. Right, and then I need to fortify this border again, don't I? And I'm hoping that I can bring some more troops in for you. If I need to uh, bring in some of the reds, I will. Did we restart? No, nothing bad happened. And stability is, yeah, still 74. It's gone up again, despite the uh, fact that we were at war. And I would love to go after uh, Hunan, but Hunan doesn't have the same weaknesses that Guangxi did. Guangxi just let me take them. Hmm, I'm glad with that. I'm pleased with how that went. That was a successful war. Oxamis, thank you very much for the subscription. Sorry, my notifications are not working at the moment. I don't know why. I'm going to check that um, between streams. I suspect it's just Streamlabs having a, a whoopsie. But um, yeah, notifications aren't working. So thank you very much for the sub. I very much appreciate that. Thank you. I must admit, I was—I saw it like pop up as a notification. I was like, I'm going to wait for it to actually pop up for you guys, and of course, it never did. All right, you guys, how are you training? Training's going well. So is yours. We have plenty of guns. Things are looking good. Why are you guys not doing anything? Oh. Because I'm an idiot, that's why. That is not what I meant to do. That is. There we go. And your commander is going to be this guy, because he has better supply. Then you are still in training. Though technically, you should be under his... <laughs> oh, and we got a load more factories! Of course, because we took Wang Zi. Including... Oh, hell yes. Man, that's actually a really strong start. <clears throat> and yeah, we can upgrade these. And actually, I need to upgrade those. Oh, 
like that. <clears throat> okay, onwards. Thank you for the reminder. Appreciate that. Oh, we also got a million more manpower. Let's just save it now. This is going quite well. <laughs> All right, we're good. Onwards. Back to speed five, I think. How's Japan doing? Greater prosperity, so yeah. Next focus is them coming for us. But you guys are almost trained. Let's go ahead and give you that guy. <clears throat> so you are now commanding five armies, which is optimal. We will not be colonized. <laughs> We're certainly going to resist them to the best of our ability. <clears throat> right, where are other resources here? Xinjiang has a few. Not getting this is a big deal. Because we can also then sell those resources to other people. In fact, this might be a good time to start improving relations with other f nations, like through the focuses, once we have army reform. Hindenburg survived. We have machine tools. Because the better their relations, the more likely they are to trade with us. With free trade, we will get a lot of civilian factories for it. In fact, we have just got another one, apparently. Oh, and these should be... Oops. Not... Oops. That was the wrong way around. Shanghai is what I meant to move down. Those should be in that order. And there it is. Democracy is... Democracy has arrived! And we're going to get the executive yuan. And then I think we're going to go military affairs. So we don't need to do it immediately. Uh, the other thing that we could do... Uh, it's a bit of a risk. No, we're not going to do it. I was going to say we could immediately get the defensive minister. <clears throat> and then war economy after. How's the uh, Spanish Civil War going? Oh, they just got a cut off. Still raging, though. Do any of you guys have more troops I can throw? No. Unfortunate. Now, one thing I will need to keep an eye on is if Japan goes to war with France, Portugal, or Britain. Because then I do need to start fortifying, like, around those. Training. Training is done. Good. And you guys are almost ready for deployment. Are we going to be able to get another bunch? We... Yes. Yeah, we'll get one more. Oh, maybe we won't. Press the button just too late. Come on, all five of you. There you are. Train. <clears throat> and Japan is now fabricating against us. So we are going to do what we did last time. Go like that. And manually position you in those places so you don't need to move once we're actually ready for the fight. Actually, the, in, instead of going for the defense minister, yeah, we probably should. 
I was going to say we should start trying to integrate the Warlords, but no. Let's stabilize our front line. Then we'll worry about the Warlords. Like, Japan is definitely the big enemy right now. Construction's done. That's good. Next is going to be... I mean, honest, no, this one. Yeah. We've almost got pocket defense. So how long do we have? Not very. Can you build forts and puppets? Might be good to get fortress in the mountains to stop that side from collapsing. Uh, yes, you can, actually. That is actually a pretty good point and a good idea. I want to try and build you up first. I mean, once they start getting attacked, I don't know how likely it is that we'll actually get this stuff built. Especially while we have these here. That should help. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Let's give you guys a different colour. You can be the yellows. There you go. I just didn't want you to be orange, because orange is my garrison colour. I mean, technically, blue is my marines and red is my tanks. So it just looks cool for these armies. Well, one thing which I have not been doing is naming these. I really should. I'm going to call you Bacon Killer. Uh, we'll put the space in there. You are going to be... Fill up my list of Twitch names. Who was it that just subscribed? Oxamis. Horned Panda. Hang on. Horned Panda's gone before. No, he hasn't. Horned Panda. Alright, Arch Dude. And Cold Road. And. <laughs> oh, wow, that's the perfect name. Japs! <laughs> Love it. Now watch as that unit promptly gives up. <laughs> oh, that is the perfect name. I love it. That's brilliant. Actually, I feel like... No, I want to keep Oxamis. I'm going to call this one Japs. I'll switch those two around. Just because it's so funny. This makes me laugh. Sorry, Horned Panda. You get the slightly smaller army. <clears throat> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, shang -Chi. Yes, please. I'll take that. Thank you. Gift me. You join Yellows. Also known as Cold Rage. Nobody else has one. Good. Continue. Uh oh, their heart's gone. <clears throat> yeah, I lost a few days of focus work, unfortunately. So they're not quite gelled up as they were previously. Who are you? Oh, you're one of my reserves. <clears throat> Pocket defense is done. Let's go and grab defense in depth.
Yeah, you are just in time, because this boy is about to get ugly. And there it is. Breaking point. Leadership purges. War. Okay, down to speed three. We are going to select you. <clears throat> no, we're not. We're going to select the... Hmm. We're going to select the blue guy as we're going to go last stand. Naval invasion, northern China. Yeah, they're going for Tianjin. But, we're actually doing a fairly good job of holding so far. <laughs> Just because I've really stacked up the troops there. Half of the Reds are in there too. Bearing in mind there are 40 divisions on this front instead of just 20 like last time. Menguko's in the war. Yeah, they're going to push through here relatively easily because I don't have my regular divisions on that side. The Soviets want to send me stuff. Oh, and also war economy. So, accepting the volunteers. Wow, war support is a lot higher. It was stuck at 50 last time. So, another massive advantage of not declaring war on China. Both of these are much higher. So, modified government, we are going into... Whoops, wrong one. No, that was the right one. What do you need for total mobilization? More than 80% war support. That's not actually impossible. So I could go anti-communism just for the ability to go down to here, which is defense and core. No. Constitutional reform. So it would have to be welfare and it would have to be constitutional reform. <coughs> or, or, we can do war propaganda. We'll wait until, like, the Manchuko war propaganda thing appears. And that would get war support up really quite quickly. So do I want to wait and go total mobilization? What's it cost? Does it still cost like manpower? It doesn't. Yes, it does. But I have tons of manpower, so I'm not particularly concerned about it. Yeah, I know. I know. Army reform. Don't worry. I'm just trying to decide whether I want to save the 150 political power and get total mobilization, because I'm only 10% away from that. It's a pretty big upgrade. Yeah, I'm going to wait. So we're going to suffer in the short term, and hopefully that will pay off. Fingers crossed. Let's also put you on last stand. <clears throat> Marco Polo bridge incident. Japanese and Chinese forces have skirmished inconclusively in the bridge southwest of Beijing. I've seen that event so often now, I'm like, I know this one off by heart. Oh. Okay. Um, that's a slight problem. Don't really want to put regulars in this force. Um, nah, still, th they were really useful to have on that defensive line. <coughs> yeah. 
Yeah, we never got the forts completely finished. So the puppet ones just never got done. What do I do about this? We have a lot of troops up here, which is fine. I mean, it's relatively easy to bring in reinforcements. I was kind of hoping that they would move in like this guy, because he's still not doing anything. <coughs> I don't like leaving Guangzhou here completely unguarded. Yeah, they're still not aiming for it, so... Hopefully that gamble will pay off. Oh, war support's gone down again. War heroes being killed. Maybe I should be going war economy. Oh, you can't do war propaganda while there's less than 50% war support. I see. <clears throat> so no, I'm not going to be able to get up to that level. My voice is taking an absolute beating during this. Right, let's go and war economy. We're still really actually quite close to upgrade after that. War economy should mean more factories. Not noticeably. Total mobilization don't need extensive conscription, otherwise you won't have any manpower. Um, actually, yes, you're right. Because I'm at 1.5. No, <laughs> that was not your agreement. You're going to stay here and defend that. Yes, something needs to go and guard that, but it's not going to be you. It should be one of the other guys. <coughs> like you. Off you go. We'll just need to keep an eye on that. Right, are there any troops here that we can switch around? There are. And Beijing, there almost certainly are. Uh, not yet, not really. It's just a massive combat width. And because they're using their attack guy, I think they have more combat width. Oh no. They're really pushing me quite hard here in Shanxi. Okay, so the Soviets have arrived. I'd really like you up here in the mountains, please, Soviets. You sent me regular infantry. That's fine. Reinforcements are on their way in. <coughs> and then with that, we should be fine to hold. Okay, the Soviets are apparently on their way to Shanxi. No, they're not. Yeah, they're still attacking here. I'm, I'm aware of that. Thank you. Why am I attacking? Oh, because they've already pushed us back. I see. Um, that's fine. All right, so we've got executive. Yeah, uh, Juan. So let's go and get, whoops, army reform, military affairs commission, there we are. See, I didn't forget, it's all good. Are there any other puppets that I can recruit? No. Disappointingly enough, there are not. And you guys are actually going to get the experience required. Because we're not faltering up here, which is lovely to see.
However, the yellows are definitely struggling. There's not many of them in their auxiliary troops. They're not as good as my regulars. <clears throat> 84 uh, stability, though. That's amazing. 13% more factory output. Hell yes. Right, now I think it's time that we need to start pulling you guys around. So let's grab... You and you back you off. Although you're the red, so you're actually going to back off completely. So we should really back off some of the blues too. You and you back off. There we go. 